Howdy ho folks, it's me, Massafran. Good to see you, I hope you're all doing well. It's, uh, it's nearing the new year, it's nearing the end of the new year, and I thought I'd do a fast check-in video to uh, tell you how I've been doing for the past few months. So I'm just chatting over this old footage of time-lapse art pieces I did. They're not uh, complete time-lapses, because I didn't get footage from the very start of the art pieces to the very end. Some footage is missing, some are way too small or oddly formatted, so that's why they aren't their own videos, per se. Let's address the elf in the room and talk about where I've been for the past few months and stuff like that. I've been, you know, I've been making myself busy in real life. I've been, I've been focusing and working on finishing my big freelance art project. It should be releasing sometime next year. It was, you know, I've been working on it for, since 2020, and it's been the thing that kept me surviving for the past two years. Yeah, it's called uh, Flawless Extraordinary Superheroes, and, you know, it's about special ed children. You know, being superheroes, talking about STEM careers and helping kids out and learning about, you know, science, technology, engineering, math, that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's, you know, it's been pretty decent. It was tough, but I, I've learned a lot. I've learned a bit about my workflow and, you know, I'm ready to move on from that and just get going on some things. So yeah, it should be coming out next year. It's a more independent book, so I could link the websites on the YouTube description for when they're actually going to release. So after I did my freelance stuff, I did a few commissions to kind of just mellow out and uh, you know get people into it. I've been getting messages about commissions. So I decided, all right, I'll just take a few, you know, see how that works, see if I could manage the little extra workflow. And I mean, so far it's been pretty decent. I've gotten some decent characters, some OCs. That's some, you know, that's that's it. It's gone smoothly for me, and I'm, you know, they've been really happy on that. So if you want to commission yourself, I'm I'm still open. I think I'm just gonna do a perpetual open commission thing. Or may just do it, do like a commission announcement monthly or something like that. And yeah, I'll just keep everyone posted on my, you know, my general social medias everywhere else I go. I should also probably talk about uh, Furs of Fury because I did finish that this year, this giant illustration. Plus, there was a big release of that game. It's an indie RTS game about, uh, you know, red wall style animals, you know, battling it out with uh, bug units and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. I've never played an RTS and, you know, trying it out, it's pretty nice. I'd play, like, a game like that. I should stream it just so I could show it off to people and kind of just get people knowing more about the game. Speaking of games, uh, I'm still working on my own game. Uh, me and my programmer are still plugging away at it, so just letting you know that it's still not dead. We just, you know, are working on the more nitty gritty details that aren't as glamorous to post on social media. My programmer has most of the art assets he needs from me, so I'm just hanging back with him polishing and other research right now. I'm currently learning more of a sprite. You know, just getting better at it, uh, watching Adam Giannis, Brandon Greer, more more videos just to, you know, learn some better Ace Sprite workflows, kind of get myself into that better pixel art mentality, learning some shortcuts, learning some little tips and tricks to improve my pixel art and you know, make myself a lot better of a pixel artist. I haven't posted much pixel art for a while now, actually. Like, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably realize that I've kind of stopped doing pixel art at the moment. I've kind of, like, fallen back from doing pixel art into just doing normal drawing. Because I'd say at the end of the day, I'm still more used to drawing on paper than pixel art, I'd say. And through all that learning, I'm learning a little bit of Unity, how uh, Unity's animation features work. 
Uh, my programmer is walking me through, you know, how the Uni UI works. And, you know, it, it's going well. I am learning new skills, of course, so that's a positive. Yeah, slowly and surely, we're doing our best to press forward with our pixel art stuff. I mean, of course, we're getting through life. Life's kind of gotten in the way. Uh, my programmer kind of needs to do a bit of a restarting and catch up stuff. Like, we kind of had a weird little snafu when my programmer was uh, changing up his computers and upgrading. He kind of... He kind of like lost a hard drive, he forgot to back up some work that was over the course of a few months. So, kind of had to do some restarting when it came to a lot of the physics and platforming. You know, just setting up, just restarting the physics so it's actually real video game physics as opposed to the default Unity platformer physics. If you messed around in Unity, you'll probably know the type of physics I'm talking about. So, after that short setback, uh, Adam tells me that he's in a better spot to press forward on the demo and yeah, we can make some more progress and hopefully around next year we'll actually have a playable demo that we can show off to people. I'd love to be able to get something out there so we can get some feedback. All this time stuff kind of made less time for streaming. I haven't been able to stream because I've been taking... I've been just busy with everything else. I haven't been able to just think about streaming, really. I come home, I'm burnt out from work, and I really just don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to concentrate on making the little art that I need to do, work on the freelance stuff, just be laser focused on finishing that. I'm I'm trying not to fret so much. There's just been so much stuff that I've been needing to do besides streaming. So if you followed me on Twitch, I am very, very sorry. I haven't streamed in so long and I completely fell off. My productivity in terms of streaming fell off a cliff and to that I apologize. I want to do better for next year and make my 2022 much better than it originally is. So I've made a few plans to kind of just keep myself focused and in the game. I think my uh, biggest priority right now is working on the Black Mass demo and getting that out eventually. I, me and my programmers want to get that out, have a build playable so we can get some fast feedback and see if we're going in the right direction on terms of gameplay, whether it's fun for a 2D platformer and see, you know, a good direction that we're taking. Some other stuff for next year is I will be tabling at more cons for once. You know, uh, next year I'll Anime Central should be open, so I'll be able to table at Anime Central next May. And that'll, that should be fun. I think it'll be my first convention of the year. Um, I, I'd have to look through my emails just to see if there are any other conventions I can go on before then. But, you know, I'll keep people posted. I'll still have my tweets out. I'll still let people know. I might even, like, do some video announcements. That'll be helpful. But, yeah, gonna be tabling at more conventions. Gonna prep more of my old comics for print, get Shirley's Day done, get uh, more of Incident at the Game Store done. I may or may not print the Pizza Man, because I have prepped it for like the past two years, and due to some weird snafu stuff with the paper shortages, you know, that, kinda, that got massively delayed in terms of that. Also, I just don't have the money for it anyway, so it's it, it's no giant deal right now. And, you know, if push comes to shove, I can always make more stickers. There's a bunch of old art that I could try to make into stickers. I can still make more cat stickers. I'm, I'm totally hyped to try doing some more cat stuff, because a lot of people tell me that they really like my cat pictures and, you know, want more cat stickers, so I'm gonna try and oblige with some more new stickers and different types of stickers and ways to do some prints and stuff like that for the cons and all the rest of my art stuff. 
So more stuff in the future would probably be some making more tutorials for this YouTube channel. It's been so long since I've actually just done a tutorial and I've had no real plan when it comes to tutorial stuff. Like, what kind of tutorials would people actually want to hear from me? And, you know, I'd love some feedback. You know, drop some stuff in the comments. Let me know what you'd be interested in learning from me about. Because, I mean, there's plenty of art tutorials out there, so... I have no idea what I, myself, could really contribute to that conversation. I'm nearly done with my game store tutorials, my making of the incident of the game store, where I pretty much just walk through the entire process of making incident of the game store from the initial thumbnails to the reference gathering all the way up to the drawing, inking, and coloring, plus the screen tones for the original black and white comic. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I've been up to for the past few months or so. You know, I'm you know, just trying to get things done over time, and hopefully next year more things will be done. I can actually get some art plans finished over the course of the year 2022. If you like what I've been doing and want to keep up with my day-to-day -day activities, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all at uh, Masterfran. And you can even stop by my website at Masterfran.com. You can find my blogs, my uh, little tutorial articles, and the, my complete archive of art. So, you know, if my art hasn't shown up on your timeline, you can always look there to find stuff on my galleries. So this is Masterfran. I will see you all in the next video, and have a nice day.